following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. What up, y'all? It's the Joker's Gallery right here on the Fago Lovers Network. Another edition of Five Piece coming at you today. They are going to break it down. Our favorite MCs currently right now in the underground. Not talking about all time or the best ever. Talking about currently right now, 2022. Who's the best in the underground? Before we get into that list, I introduce the panel right here beside me. You got the host of Speak Your Clout podcast and also the top 100 wrestlers of all time, Mr. Mike Sears. What's good, y'all? Your boy Mike Sears, Speak Clout podcast, Ben the Boys, Ghost Clout Gallery. Good day today. Directly below us, you got the Larry King of the Underground representing Trife Life for life and LukeTheGoon.com for life because it's his fucking name, Luke the Goon. <laughs> What's well, good? What's good? Let's, uh, yeah, like Mike said, this will be a interesting list to do. I had to rack my brain a little bit to come up with my list. Yeah, after almost a year of uh, five pieces, I've come to find out the ones I enjoy the most are the ones that make me think. Like the wrestling reference episode, like we literally had the whole discography to go back and choose from. So being able to just list our uh, top five MCs, it gives you freedom to go back and listen to anybody who's doing shit currently right now and uh, make a top five. Speaking of five, though, we talked about the almighty fifth Joker's card last week. Got quite a few of. Uh, views immediately on this wanted to give a shout out to everybody that checked that one out uh shout out to suicide that was one of my favorite episodes what y'all think about it loved it mad fun like i said that's my first show that's the first call to come out since i've been down loved it good episode man oh, yeah. yeah a lot of nostalgia connect i think a lot of people obviously have a lot of nostalgia connected connected to that record because a lot of people were down in great malenko and like mike said they like that was their first record that they were around for the release of so I think that weighed pretty heavily, obviously. Yeah, it was dope in the uh, live chat. People was sharing stories and shit, memories. People was putting them in the chat. So uh, want to interact interact with this show. If you've got five MCs you think are dope in the underground, put them in the chats. Also, uh, we got the uh, five piece over on Spotify. If you want to catch up on the past episode, like I said, we basically got 50 of these motherfuckers now. If you want to check those out and you don't have to run up your data plan watching YouTube, you can check that out on Spotify. Just Search five piece. It's the only thing it's on there under five piece, so it should come up for you. But like I said, top five in the underground right now. And I'll get it started with one of the dudes from my favorite act in the underground right now at the five spot, Whipstick. This is the city where the super luchas came from. Undisputed the rules as we move it with a chainsaw. Because we hate y'all. Back in a competition. And it's how we raise all. Whacking off lots of scissors. The land where we bought up for your baby mama. No matter the aftermath, you suck the rest of father. Where it all started out, here we go, vomit. Place it for the squeamish, you need it there as a father pal. Fuck life, my favorite currency is cocaine. Makes the pain from the square circle seem okay. Get a ballistic, I'm just a man with a vision of plan. Plan with a pistol, we turn your fans into victims. You could at least a trap on my fucking fanny pack Couldn't last long enough to make legs a granny man Locals all in, yeah, home is where the heart is It's a handicap, natural trade, beat your ass retarded You're loving life and everything's going perfectly Maybe not even perfect, but really you're not concerned with anything That wasn't making you better ever since yesterday Painting all the silver linings, timing all of this excellence And then there's me, I'm watching you from the bushes I'm buying all of your movements, I'm stalking you to the fullest I fall, what a doofus, I'm knowing that I'm pursuing you Out of control, you're Brutal or I'ma stop out this nuisance My soul Tied you up in the back of the black van Heading to my basement with your fates in the past And it's bad chance that you're getting out Save the last dance Anytime you wanna talk back, catch a backhand And it's all just a part of the plan Come along and just get in the van I'm really hoping you ain't it I got you locked in the basement Nobody's coming to save you like that And it's all just a part of the plan Come along and just get in the van Fuck life, her favorite currency is cocaine Makes the pain from the squared circle seems okay Cannibalistic, I'm just a man with a vision Blam, blam, with a pistol, we turn your fans into victims Like, that motherfucker was just It, it all lined up, I always say it all lined up From Anoxide on Abominations It all lined up for Whip on uh, Don't Hug Me From The Front And then like I said, with that EP they, He even upped his game a little bit more So I definitely gotta put him at the five spot Whenever you first look at Super Famous A lot of people don't get through like the mask and shit 
But man, once you get through the look and the gimmick, and you and that's what's under it is that fucking voice and that delivery. And then of course you got a legs on the other side who's fucking flowing his ass off as well. That's the fucking recipe for my favorite band in the underground. So I put Whip at the five spot. Great choice, brother. Number five for me. Artists that I'm brand new to, but when I listen to an album over and over again, I know the MC is special, bro. You know, just non-stop listening to him. So number five, you're going to the West Coast. I got Hex, bro. Take a trip to that West Side. Lead to the cemetery, show you how to dead rise. Shit be in my bloodlines. Don't fuck with a one time. Candy paint, yeah. Look at the way my cut shine. Bitch, I've been a rider since the dirt. Got my scars, so I'm cursed. Everybody know that South Side got work. Motherfucker talk about the trip. You ain't no shit. All you see is the green bit. Right before I let that flow rip. My flow sick. Way before that COVID. Oh, but I noticed that you still on that house shit. Bitch, I've been the illest. I'm riding proud with my killers. I pull up in that big body like I'm great digger. I wanna be a Paula, shot Kaula, doing donuts in that 92 and Paula. And when I pull off, your body getting chopped up. You know why? You know why? Because what I did was ruthless, but killer on my headstone. I've been like we dog pound, business like his death row. Live from the dead zone, pour a 40 ounce for all my dead folks. I like the blunt, another getting smart. And when I move in packs, I'm riding dolo. I'm riding through the city with my lowsly like a cholo. You know I keep it muddy when I'm mixing up my fago. Money motivation, keep my mind up on my peso. Just a grand ball for my lap at all times. Cause motherfuckers crawl when it should be on the rise. Low profile, like I got my ties and shit. Otherwise, you get California smiles. West Coast on the balls, you gon' drown in my sauce. Still needing the interview with Murder Dog. Your girl just texted me, said she gonna give me jaw. You get caught up in my talents, I ain't talking about the claws. Fuck the law. I was hopeless, but killer on my head, star. I'm in like we dog pound. Business like it's death row. Live from the dead zone. Pull up 40 ounce for all my death row. I like the blunt and other getting small. What I did was ruthless, but killer on my head, star. I'm in like we dog pound. Business like it's death row. Live from the dead zone. Pull up 40 ounce for all my death row. I like the blunt and other getting small. Small. <laughs> I got you. Funny story is, you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like indica driven nights in Ohio. Let's say Hex signed to chapter 17. Let's see who the fuck this dude is. So I go to just some random dude, Hex, and assume it's him, right? <laughs> Didn't like it. I'll be honest. Hex raided or some shit. No disrespect, homie, but yeah, I wasn't feeling it. So, and I think Luke and, and, and Brandon was like, what the fuck? Mike don't like this shit? Better for Zally. You know? And I seen this cover. He's chucking up the West Coast with the whip. I'm like, it's not, it's not matching up. <laughs> it's the fucking look. The straight up cholo dude. You know, right? Yeah, it has to be gangster. I listened to the album. My mind was fucking blown. Like, big time. My favorite song on here, bro. Ruthless is hard. Villains with Ouija. The whole album, not one skip. It's ten songs of fucking pure heat. West Coast gangster shit. Some straight from '93, '94. I wish the album was a little longer to only complain, but it's a fucking masterpiece. And Hex is dope. His voice is ill. Just ill shit, bro. Like, I, like you almost hear him on like, some, like, Mug Cypress Hill shit, too. I would love to hear that one day. Hex and Mugs be fire. But, yeah, I got Hex number five, bro. I have to. I play this nonstop. Hell, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. Me and Mike were just talking about it before we went live, actually. The different beats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's the homie, man. I'm glad to see that dude get put on. He's been fucking down forever, man. And he was hitting me up. He's like, I'm on the West Coast out here by myself. How the fuck am I supposed to get any fucking bookies or anything? So, man, it's cool that Ouija Chapter 17 ended up blowing up so he could get on for sure. Like, whenever the uh, album dropped, like, we were talking about it, like, Mike's, Mike was talking about. And Mike's like, oh, I don't like that shit. And literally, like, Mike has to leave the fucking stream. Like, he, he you know, he goes to bed or whatever. And me and Luke are on together. We're like... How the fuck does Mike not like this dude? Like he fucking is he, he, he's like prototypical of everything Mike like. We were baffled by how Mike didn't like this dude. So I'm not surprised at all that he's on your top five already. Cause I mean, me and Luke, me and Luke were literally baffled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I see a cholo dude with braids chucking up the West Coast. That's not the same nigga I heard. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Fire. And Hex is a yeah. common name in the wicked shit. A lot of people got that name. So Yeah, we, we talked yeah. about that too. It's just it's the whole wicked shit hexing, like yeah. you know. But hex with the three X's is a fucking banger of a, a MC. Yeah, I love this album, man. So I got, I listen to it nonstop every damn day, damn man. So yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's dope. Yeah. 
All right. Uh, for my number five, uh, when I, I wanted to get somebody on my list that was like a storyteller that had like good, cause everybody I was picking was like pretty much just, you know, would just like spit some dope shit. So I wanted to get somebody on there that had some storytelling shit to him. So for number five, I picked SON. Washed in the blood is one, we all one. Cleansed by the fire, it can't be undone. Collectively see through the same mind's eye as the sky opens wide and the old balance dies. Any dead I post, a hive, a swallowed hole is for where the soul goes. Well, nobody knows. We are the body of the chosen, the owners of the seraphim. Identify the hive by the sulfur sigil branded in. We've all felt pain, we've all wanted out. Now we've all found our home where we'll never go without. Once we all were broken, till he put us back together. Stronger, faster, smarter, better. One mouth speaks with a number of four tongues, singing hymns of the damn, bringing forth the black sun. The blessing is bestowed, but the mission's just begun. As we dilate and grow, we are legion, we are one. We are many, we are one. We are different, but the same. We are moving as a beast that goes by many names. Eternally undying, forever we're together. Tethered at the soul, our being will never weather. You tried to survive, but you never felt alive. Now the crows call you home to tighten the ties that bind. We vibe and align the spirits that are inside. We're happy you've arrived. Welcome to the The crows sing a symphony of agony and misery. The hive has arrived to claim eternal victory. Shrouded in the mystery of ritual and wizardry. Aligned with the hive or be devoured by the synergy. The owners of the demons that collect the souls of history. Are lining up together perfectly in synchronicity. Unfazed by perception of time and man's method. Our power is manifested by the 33rd dimension. Redemption is the intention of this one body collection. You followed the crows home and finally you've ascended. The rhymes of lords forgotten have called you to be combined with the energy of dark and the light of the divine every version of ourselves is present in the design now you finally understand why destiny intertwines we are here to rebuild this balance and redefine we're happy you've arrived we are many we are one we are different but the same we are moving as a beast that goes by many names eternally undying forever we're together tethered at the soul our being will never weather Tried to survive, but you never felt alive. Now the crows call you home to tighten the ties that bind. We vibe and align the spirits that are inside. We're happy you've arrived. Welcome to the We are many, we are one, we are different, but the same. We are moving as a beast that goes by many names. Eternally undying, forever we're together. Tethered at the soul, our being will never weather. You tried to survive, but you never felt alive. Now the crows call in the ties that bind We vibe and align the spirits that are inside We're happy you've arrived Welcome to the If you listen to like uh, Mouth of Madness it's, it's like It's like a painting You know like he tells the whole story Of like walking through Kind of like this Lovecraftian Like plane of the universe And uh, Really the whole record Is like a story it takes the entire record. You walk through basically an entire story of what the record is. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I had to put it that what's that noise is like another pretty good storytelling song where this guy gets like infected with like this demon and he starts changing and he starts getting scales and stuff. And it's really kind of, uh, I think Chuck Reeves called it like, uh, his, his, uh, his like opus or whatever. Uh, so yeah, magnum to, opus. Yeah, it's magnum opus. So you know, I had I had to put it I had to put it on here. Uh, Evil, if you've heard Evil, I think we've played it on here before. Really dope track. So I had to put him on here. So S O N is my number five. Might be on Mike's list. He did that CD so he could bump it. <laughs> Press the CDs. <laughs> the album's too good not to own. I need that shit, man. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know uh, Evil was actually one of the uh, nominees for Song of the Year. I think he was the only like uh, Catacombs level like underground artist that was up there with the Twisteds and the Zools and shit going against. That's how good that song was. So if you're yeah. sleeping on that album, don't sleep on it for sure. He can rap his ass off. He can tell stories. About the you may, you may have already heard him. Back in the day, he was on Psycho Volume 1. 
yeah. move back as Scrub King. That's him. He's kind of reinvented himself as SON. So move back, banging deep. The prodigy from off deep sample. Oh, yeah, man. hard. <laughs> Move it up to my four spot with an artist I was sleeping on for the first few years he was around. And honestly, I think it was more his lyrical content that I didn't get. It was a lot of video game references. I ain't a video game dude and shit like that. But, man, since the last couple of years, man, he's one of my favorite in the underground. And since we put him on the top five, I'm going to put him at my four spot, GMO. Look. They say you gotta change with the times But I don't like the new school, so I'm staying behind You could pop another Zanny, pass away and just die On the side of a busy highway in Dubai Kiss my ass, I'm smoking big chop gas Bitch, I spaz, and y'all need to get off black Cause you niggas love talking, fuck this podcast Hip-hop trash, I'ma bring Slipknot back I fucked your bitty, she got one titty like the oblongs When the last time somebody said play y'all song Meanwhile, I'm finna ball out like Lance Armstrong This is not music, this a guy Damn car bomb. What's the name of the label that you working with? I never heard of it. Call it February 30th. If your album was so fucking pathetic, I'm returning it and burning down the store just for selling and supporting it. So eat a cock meat sandwich and some oranges. Before I crush a nigga and turn him to an accordion. I'm not an alcoholic, but I'm finna chug a 40. And I just so happened to be drunk while I was recording. My team, we some sip us. We can't drink enough. Liquor, no MC could fuck. With us, keep my pinky up, nigga. My pinky up, nigga. Keep my pinky up, nigga. My pinky up, nigga. Keep my pinky up, nigga, nigga. Ever, ever since I was a kid, I had a foul mouth. And then I got a little big, I'm finna wild out. Wait till they get a load of me, beat my style out. How about you niggas stop rapping and you bow down? Niggas know what time it is with me. If you go against me, then you history. I'm so sick, fuck six, give me ten feet. I used to rip shit from Richmond to Twin Peaks. Back when Nick Cats had a Volvo with six speeds. Yelling bedroom beats, rest in peace, Big B. I was 16, turning MCs to miss me. Whether you believe it or not, that shit is Ripley's. I could give a fuck if you call me one dimensional. I'm Biggie Small's interlude. I just wanna shit on you. Y'all niggas have no flavor, but you niggas fool. Y'all niggas so plain, no John Witherspoon. All I do is kick ass an entire song. My firearm look like it came from Cybertron. Your fucking brain must be smaller than a spider's balls if you go against a nigga like me, right or wrong. They say you gotta change with the times, but I don't like the new school, so I'm staying behind. You could pop another Sandy Pass away and just die on the side of a busy highway in Dubai. Kiss my ass. I'm ch I'm I'm smoking big chop gas. Bitch, I spaz. Y'all need to get off that. Cause you ninjas love and talking. Fuck this podcast. Hip hop trash. I'm bringing Slipknot back. Like that motherfucker was just on one. That that whole album. The whole fucking album. He's on one. That's that's what made me so attracted to that album and so much different from the other shit. It wasn't no playing around, man. He was just fucking pissed off. Uh, there's another one on there. It's uh, let's see. I fucked you, I fucked your bitty, but she got a titty like an oblong. When's the last time somebody said play your song? Mean, meanwhile, I'm finna ball out like Lance Armstrong. It's not music, it's a goddamn car bomb. What's the name of your label that you're working with? I never heard of it. Call it February 30th. Your album was so fucking pathetic, I'm returning it and burning down the store just for selling and supporting it. Like, that motherfucker is just... I, I say it all the time. I catch D12 vibes from him now. Like, his newer shit, like, especially the singles he's releasing. I thought it was funny. He was wearing a D12 fucking hoodie in one of those videos. I was like, oh, damn. So, I just think he deserves a spot. Like I said, I was sleeping on him for the first, like, two or three years he was around. I just didn't connect with the music. Just didn't get the video game reference. But now that he's fucking angry, G-Mo, motherfuckers talking about New Jack coming back to life and fucking rapping. Like, sign me up for that, man. He's really angry on Charlie in the Filth Factory. Give that a another chance if you can. He's he bars for days on that album. All right, fourth spot for me again. New to this this dude, you know. I knew him. I considered him a homie. Never really dug into his music deep until recently, man. I'm talking Davio Trill, bro. I'll take your origami heart out and rip it to shreds. I want a twist on your neck until you're stiff and you're dead, bitch. Pissed off and I'm clearly upset. I got a big blade on me like a pyramid head, and I'll use that blade to take your worthless life away with. Sing a song as I scrub your fucking face on my floor. It goes twist, twist, 
Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals. Look at all that blood on the walls. It's gonna clean up this mess. I re-quit the pictures that you're bleaching, rotting me Stained by the fluids that are carved up human body leaks I'll slash your neck just to watch it bleed Living life is like being stuck inside of an awful dream I try to roll it up my eyes but I just can't wake up All these fake fucks are rounding me, drowning me in their fake love I'm gonna cut you open so I can see what you're made of Look at that fake guts, man, not fake blood In a tub of chemicals, your corpse dissolves I sing a song Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals, twist. Twist a bit of the chemicals. Look at all that blood on the walls. It's gonna clean up this mess. That gully, this is a masterpiece, man. I listen to this shit almost every day as well. You know, Darby got that, like, this is New Age Wicked shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, Terrorize is my first song on the album. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. You know, they come like Bone Thugs flow. Yeah, dude's nasty, man. You know. Uh, another one of my joints on here is that uh, Sack Full of Rotted Heads. That shit is hard. That's me, it's like, uh, I locked, I wrapped Alice up in chains and I bleed the freak. I love that line. Yeah, Davi Ocho, man. LSP, Liquid Snuff Productions, he's on that label. And this album is one of my favorite albums that he had played nonstop. So I got to have Davi on the list at my fourth spot. Shout out to Davi, man. He's a real one. Yeah, he's hitting the road. He was going to actually be on this show. He's going to be the fourth panel member, but he's fucking touring. <laughs> so, oh, motherfucker is on the road so much. We couldn't even get him on the show. He's going to be on later. So, shout yeah. out to Darby, man. That album's fucking is. I messaged him. I said, that's the best work of your career by far. It's like, that what? shit was a level up. You finally heard it? Yeah. Fire, right? They, they, they got it on title. Yeah. It's fire, bro. Yeah. I like, a, a- I like uh, Dead Row got like the pen and pixel. Shit right here is like you heard my beats, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Devil. Yeah. I love oh, yeah. this album. And he's Shout the only Darby. guest that's he's the only guest whose name is turned into a verb on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get get Darby'd. Suicide almost got Darby last week. We were talking about Smash Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Until Luke broke it down and started yes. singing it, then we couldn't Darby. <laughs> Luke's got the Darby button and he's singing oh, along man. with him. <laughs> I mean, Mike's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <I'm alive. laughs> Shit. All right. Well, my number four is, I mean, should be no surprise. Uh, Billy Obey. My number four from the AXC. Until the end of time, you would die. No soon keep this shit underground like sewer pipes. And you were right if you thought that it would never change. Have my brain hanging out the forever face, huh? Okay, a brain, not a soul in sight. In a flash, you get shot, kick rocks, I can picture it. You get killed for your stimulus. Cause the time that I've invested is infinite, and that's why. Until the end of time. Tried to tell him that it's underground for life, like six feet at least. When I preach on these beats, I speak for the beast. Got a devil on my shoulder, all I feed it is shield Throw your obituary, read it and weep In the cemetery like I hit the beach for a week And all your screams equal up into a symphony Eventually I'm building till this evil and entity Don't pretend to be My family says to wear a mask cause I'm ugly And I get to kill the food cause I'm lucky It doesn't bug me though Matter of fact, I enjoy it Better drawing blood instead of drawing unemployment I avoided any accidents when I worked in the factory I'm actually the one that used to kill the cattle See, till they brought in machines and I became obsolete Oh, poor me Pay attention to the suffering Run, run But no will to escape cause you're done, done. Another meal on the plate 
That's the sound of your faith You see a human, I see pounds of steak I don't fully comprehend what I'm doing I just swing for dead one swift And the impact is deafening Say one thing and the police begin questioning Hey for the head, it's forever the face He's basically the mastermind behind Long Live Evil. Uh, he uh, His stuff on, like, uh, I've talked about his verse when we did our Features episode. I talked about his verse on Ghosts, which is, like, absolutely killer. Uh, and then his verse, actually, on SON's record, Amen, is is also bonkers. Uh, this is more than a logo on the front of your T-shirt. This is us versus them. Uh, he just, and his whole verse on that song is crazy. Like I've said, I think if you've listened to his features, he goes in hard. Like Bill and a lot, a lot of these guys have talked about this before. Like when they do features, I feel like it's their best shit. Like they go in like, I'm going to kill this guy in his own track. <laughs> Bill does that like every time. And even like on his singing on Brainless is really fucking dope as well. I know we've talked about that before. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I had to put Bill on here. Uh, he's been doing some killer shit. I'm excited for the new one they're coming out too here. Eventually. Oh, hell yeah. One of the best MC slash producers as well. That just, dude's beats is so fire. He's got to get that confidence up with those beats. But yeah, man, he's putting some killer shit out. Next time you go to the church, say, Mike Sears said, you're fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might be watching right now. So. <laughs> he got those drums. Those fucking drums. Yeah. A lot of producers don't do drums. They do like those just playing loops and shit. Yeah, he's, yeah his production bag is amazing, man. Yeah, the underground needs some more Doom Bat production for sure. Cause that yeah, shit is fucking fire. Billy is incredible. Yes. And like yeah. like you said with him, him and pretty much all the members of Zool like stealing it whenever they're featured on a song. It makes me think of shut the fuck up and enjoy the music. If you're not a Zool again, you're getting executed. Yeah. Like st- song stolen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yep, he does that shit. <laughs> Move it up to my three spot. Talked about him when I was talking about Whipstick. Had the three spot for me, Mr. A Legs. My coffee's cold, always watching the media. Talking about stocking and mocking them while turning the TV. All of a sudden, I'm a monster. Like, I ain't been feeding ya. I'm just trying to get us both to appear on Wikipedia. Honor of my ninth kill that they can't find still. Rename this whole fucking city like it was a wine bill. Actually, I'm sick of you. Back into the chicken coop. Listen, you bitch, before I consider getting rid of you. Never mind. Hey, it's time to go shopping. Gonna find me a new toy to make into Frank Cotton. Fleshless crimson. Last hour spent as a coward. Stabbed by a loser like Bruce. Brody and showers. Norman Bates wearing a normal face. Yo, it's funny. I'm a bludgeon you with inflatable sledgehammer. Get comfy. I'm sure you had ambitions right before you died. But now you're just a victim forever immortalized. So, what's with the sad face? You have a bad day. I've been there before. A couple of mine have been that way. Bet you want to go home and a wine with some snack cakes. Sure, you're aware life is unpredictable and plans change. For example, your plans for the day. I'm getting the van and get tased. It's rigged like an animal. Okay, so damn it. If my plans get abandoned due to your panic and I'm brandishing. I'm bladed swinging like Anakin till your movement matches some mannequins. Okay, well, you gotta act like you got a pair. Following you to work for three days, all of a sudden you're fucking scared. I don't understand you. Get down in the basement, it's pretty basic, but spacious. Ignore the chains in the way, bitch. You gon' stay in chase and lay with this mansion blanket made of missing cases and pics of the faces. Clips I've been taking from newspapers. The X is not a joke because nobody can. The only way you leave in here is in pieces back in the van. <laughs> It's all just a part of the plan. Come along, you're just getting a bad. I'm really hoping you hate it. I got you locked in the basement. Nobody's coming to save you like that. And it's all just a part of the plan. Come along, you're just getting a bad. I'm really hoping you hate it. I got you locked in the basement. Nobody's coming to save you like that. Silently sighing, the sicko is smiling His bodies of water surround you like islands Submerging and drown with the rest of the bastards An artistic project reversing the rapture The reason I got him a little bit higher than Whipstick Is the wrestling references We talk about it all the time That motherfucker's wrestling references The one I read about ECW on our wrestling references show If you didn't even watch that Go back and listen to that fucking verse That motherfucker came up with Just the amount of talent that motherfucker has he can paint fucking a van <laughs> he can draw your fucking merch or he could be the best fucking rapper on the song if he needs to be so i'm gonna put him on my list for sure 
if my plans get abandoned due to your panic and I'm brandishing a blade and swinging like Anakin till your movement matches a mannequin. Okay, fuck God, act like you got a pair. Follow you to work for three days now. All of a sudden, you're fucking scared. I don't understand. You get down in the basement. It's pretty basic, but spacious. Ignore the change in the weight bench. You're gonna stay in chains and lay in makeshift blankets made with missing cases of pics of faces clips I've been taking from newspapers. Like God <laughs> damn, man. Like even on even on the actual song, whenever he fucking busts that one out, the background like the little backing like second vocals like whoa like somebody just marking the fuck out for how dope that fucking line was man he he stepped his game up like i was talking about with Whip. that's why i can't wait for their next album man that ep was just like an appetizer it's like god damn they have fucking evolved in the six months in between don't hug me from the front which if you don't know is our fucking album of the year so we like that pretty fucking well and then they evolved with this fucking ep so i'm ecstatic to see what these motherfuckers gonna come up with next because everything i've heard from them, it just gets better better and better and better every time they come out so i gotta get both of them motherfuckers on my list like i said they're my favorite in the underground right now so a legs at the three spot oh yeah my three spot would keep it in the lle side of things and the super famous fun time side of things and go whip stick My favorite member between the two, you know what I'm saying? Legs is nasty too. No pity dope in this story over here. But Damn, uh now now legs can't brag that he was ranked higher. <laughs> <laughs> I think this the dude is nasty. He just brings it back to those days of like when the juggalo scene was on fire and you had like just dope MCs and really psychopathic strange music, you know, other underground. But the dude is just nasty, bro. Like, you know. Like Brandon quoted some Lucha Florida bars. You said that just amazing. Like, you got the voice, it's grimy, you know, the raspy voice. Yeah, you should know me by now. I love Whip. He's definitely number three for me. Straight the fuck up. Whipstick is nasty. Murders everything. Straight up. Gotta put him on the three spot. Like I was talking about when I picked him at five, the voice control and just the evolution of it. If you go back and listen to our album and just up through the discography and just see how much that motherfucker's voice control has improved. Because yeah. I think of like I think of like Shaggy from like uh, Beverly Kills five hundred one eight seven like era. Like Shags couldn't rap like that. It's hard to fucking keep that rasp in your fucking voice and fucking yeah. speed rap. I don't know how that dude does it without fuck passing out. He does it somehow. Lots of fucking milk and coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blue caps only. <laughs> yeah, Room yeah, temperature, yeah. fucking code red. <laughs> What's cool is I think he's finally found like his sound. I think so. It's gonna be cool to see where he's gonna be able to take it from here. Yeah, because he's been around forever. It's just not super famous. He was doing the mission effect stuff. He was fucking uh, hyping for low key there for a while. So he's been around for a while. And I think like, like I said, I think like. What he's doing right now, it's like whenever you heard Monoxide on Abominations, like, man, this dude's figured it out. He's got his sound locked in. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought up Mission Infect because my number three is Mad Max. Guys down to haunt you beyond the grave. I'm gonna get you if I want you. Facts. My sister's name ain't Ruby. I ain't suicidal, but see, Maxie just cannot relax. I be fucking tweet, fucking tweet. Listen close while I'm fucking speaking, bitch. I do this shit five days a week in my sleep, and then twice a night every fucking weekend. Watch how you fucking speaking. I ain't fucking with y'all. Not at all. Everyone gets in my way, leave him stuck to the wall. Any rappers that ain't working with me, days afraid. I'll leave the stage looking like the rave at the beginning of Blade. Fuck you think this is? I'm coming for your positions and your businesses. When I'm finished, there ain't gonna be any witnesses. And nobody's ever gonna know what a victim is. I go post through my vocals of crimes. I barely got merch, bro. I ain't got no clothing line. Only thing that I know is the flows and rhymes always playing like it's overtime. 
minutes a winner that did it I'll be killing catalogs in a single verse Quick as a blink at first I just be writing to say it Fuck it, judging by the love I'm getting I think it works yeah. I'ma keep moving, they feel what I'm doing If you oppose me, well I hope that you're stupid Cause then at least I would logically explain Why you'd willingly put yourself through all the drama and pain On top of my game, I could lead you to the cinders Like I'm off to the flame Off top of the brain, all frost with the cane I don't even need a rhyme book Y'all are insane if you think you can step to me yeah. Even get next to me, rap like I'm always on ecstasy All you others are not fucking impressing me Look where I started though, what the fuck are you expecting me? What, bitch? Hate me or love me, you're gonna be fucking respecting me Or else I'll have to disembowel you pussies Like a fucking hysterectomy I got the flavor and they want the recipe She's a double DX, he's in the set of three I put shit all the way down to the ground When I rap all of us with the pedigree Rapping it back to the death of me I think is somebody who doesn't really get talked about enough when we talk about this stuff. Uh, he's just every song he does, he's nasty with it. Uh, you've heard him on, he was on Strangers on the Track with uh, oh, One Time. Uh, he's got this song called That's What They Call Me, which is fucking sick. If you don't know, Max is like Jewish, so that track is fucking insane. Dying on Acid, he just came out with his EP. Well, it's kind of an EP full length, while Halloween's over. Uh, Max has been in the scene for a long time. He's like basically a legend, but he always comes like hard. He's oh, his stuff is always sick. Um, and uh, if you've been sleeping on him, I definitely recommend che checking out his shit because he's always spitting some fucking crazy. Like he was in, like we said, Mission Effect, and uh, yeah, he's always coming coming for the throat in every single fucking song that he does. So I had to put him on the list, number three. Another guy with three X's in his name, Mad Max. <laughs> Talked about like uh, the feature game with uh, Zool. I think he steals Bounce House Bastards. Talk about a super famous fun time song on uh, how to fit a cassette in discography. He's on that. He fucking shows out on that shit. Yeah, he's been around forever too. Move it up to my two spot. Mentioned him just momentarily ago it's been the dude that's holding down the number one spot since 2012 for me but he doing a lot of rapping these days unfortunately gonna be monoxide don't be playing with me boy this ain't a game i ain't a toy must i explain why i love to destroy look around i'm feeling the pain feeling the void feel like the same situation that i tried to avoid uh come out of pocket i'ma put a hole in you the size of a bad rocket just shows you how i'll roll i ain't losing you all no i'd rather put the gun in my head and let it go you know every word that i said is worth a go that's why you listen instead of leaving me alone i don't give a fuck about bread i want the dough i'm giving the sweat and the blood and the microphone Anytime I'm in the zone, but I got bad blood right through my feet. I probably wouldn't trust anything I see. Any second I could bust into this rage. Medicine is a must, but I, I just won't take. Lobotomy is an option. I'm a murderous concoction. Cop this handle back and just watching my axe attack without caution. Voices talking, me in the stalking. In the thing I see walking without caution. Come up missing like my trails of thought inside of my mind. There's no hope for you on the side of this line with a chosen view. Venom is why I came through with the smoke and truth. The dark side is alive in the vocal booth. <laughs> Still gotta be on the list for me because when he does get to bring his shit, that fucking ESN, the East Side Ninjas fucking record, was just monoxide getting every bar that he wasn't able to record for the last year out of him. Like he stole that fucking record, same way he stole that last fucking Lotus album. Um, I got a couple lines from him from uh from a uh, Mad Season, which I think it's like their lot. You know, it's it came out in 2020. It didn't, it didn't come out this year, this past year, but it's the last time he was really rapping. I got bad blood running through my veins. I probably wouldn't trust anything I say. Any second, I could bust into a fit of rage. Medicine is a must, but I just won't take. Lobotomy is an option. I'm a murderous concoction. Cock this handle back and just watch my axe attack without caution. So that motherfucker is still bringing like, the wicked shit, still bringing like, the classic bars, but he's just putting shit together so much, so much better. And he's also kind of got like a I don't know, kind of like a groove to his shit now. I guess you kind of go along with more of the rock shit, but like, uh, it was on, uh, what's the weed song on fucking, uh, Mad Season? 
wasted for. Um, he starts off the song, I just want the gas. I just want the petrol. When you can smell it through the bag, we call it dead folk. Cough until I gag, wasted from the get-go. Getting higher than the price of a Dr. Dre instrumental. Like, that motherfucker, like, his wordplay is what has went just up. Like, he's always been able to rap. You can go back and listen to fucking Most Tasteless and tell that motherfucker's always been to rap. But, like, the schemes and the timing and even, like, the flows that he's putting together. And, he's like I said, he's kind of got that groove on some of it now. He's a fucking complete package of a rapper. I'll put him at the two spot for me. He, a side note, he was talking on his live stream the other day, and somebody was talking about how they can't wait till to hear, like, you know, classic twisted, like, you know, we want, we want to hear Monoxide do what he does best. And he was like, after this album drops, he's like, we already recording it. He's like, think of Wicked. So I don't, I don't know if it's just hyperbole or what, but he was saying the next album coming out after the, the album produced by Rob Zombie, he said, think of Wicked. So hopefully they're going to try to do what they did with Wicked originally and come back and let everybody know that whenever they want to do this shit, they can fucking be the kings of the Wicked shit. So Monoxide at two for me. Might be moving up if he actually puts out another album as good as Wicked. Better. Right. Mike's waiting for sure. <laughs> Mike's like, sign me up. <laughs> Facts. All right, number two. Kind of, it's gonna be kind of different because in this group, he's not my favorite member, but he's the best lyricist. And he's got to be on here. Talk about the Almighty Allah's Lee Boo. I'm going with Lee Carver. Hi, the name's Lee, as you can see, I'm a dead creepy. 94 degrees in a black beanie. I'm not sleepy, I swear from the drug uses. Your face ain't a mask made of human flesh. Fuck yeah. I hate mustard, I hate humans. Super mutant, tell your limbs off for amusement. The bitch I tried to stab told me fat, man, that shit's hurtful. I cut her head off, fucked her neck in a prayer circle. The family that I represent are all about the moment. I'm just taking what they're thinking collectively and recorded. Distorted in a bit, disturbed you into action figures. Yeah, fuck off, man. Dragging you back to my secret place And ate her brains like a plate of fucking saber case Well, all I know is that friends ain't come and go Golden horns in the sky You're a tool I care for life 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 My favorite is Billy Obey But lyrically, it's Lee Carver on the podcast during the Almighty Era, he said, you got to be an MC first before you spit the wicked shit. You know, and a lot of these rappers, these SoundClouds, these fucking MySpace era rappers are always trash. But Lee Carver, like, this dude is just nasty with it, man. Just, like, quotables for days. Slip my wrist with the swipe of a debit. And, <laughs> dude is just nasty, bro. Straight the fuck up. And his voice is what nightmares are made of. <laughs> voice is fucking dope, bro. Like, yeah, Lee Carver's the illest lyricist to me. And uh, Zool, so yeah, he's in my number two spot is Lee Carver, man. Gotta put him up there. Number two for me. Yeah, you can listen to his knock shit. He could have, he could have, he could be right along with like uh, Jelly Row and that fucking scene if he wanted to just stick to like, you know, not Zool and fucking a horror wicked shit. Like, he could have been. Just as fucking good as like a Jelly Row or something like that. that. Motherfucker is on point with anything right. he does. I ain't heard a bad verse from him in Never. fucking four years. <laughs> yep, gotta be my number two spot, man. All right. Well, let's continue on with that. And my number two is the Dark Lord himself. Joey Black. The song is a story of what we killed for. I was still born, but still born. Called me saying and abused to beat me. Kept me in the basement and refused to feed me. Every now and then they toss down a stray animal. So at an early age, of Bella traits of a cannibal. Psychosomatic, erratic as a dope fiend. Evil I see, everything is protein. Gotta bring some honor back to this family. Dad, let me name the axe that he handed me. He told me about how fun the chase is. 
scream back to me, but I can keep the faces. My first victims, a couple on a camping trip while they slept. Took my weapon, slammed them in the head with it. Phones being broken, hopeless cries. Watch their souls leave their eyes as they laid their pulverized. Day for the hour of my death, and wish me Godspeed. But motherfuckers bow their heads when the gods speak. When I pass, drop my casket in the dark deep, but maybe in the bed of acid top by concrete. I should write about pain, said my psychiatrist. Clicked in my pants, had his face and started writing this. Hate them for his time, said goodbye. Watched him burn alive. Out of my mind, that last line got me certified. Wrote this verse and really didn't give me props. Shot myself, turned the church into a divic box. Been saving up for hell, counted every sin. Used to have kids, but forgot where I buried them. Black tongue, heretic, sex circle. I'm not prince, but my blood drips purple. And now you know why I'm cursed to lurk below. All this shit I spit nonsense, a hurtful soul. I'll be down till the end of time. Cause we got the ground right. Like six feet deep. And you ain't even gotta ask when I'm dead. Bury me in my mask. At least six feet deep. I'll be down till the end of time. Cause we got the ground right. Like six feet deep. And you ain't even gotta ask when I'm dead. Bury me in my mask. At least six feet deep. I had to put Joe on here. His shit is so like unorthodox. <laughs> And like his, the stuff that he decides to rhyme about is so fucking like <laughs> off the wall. And like, like if you listen to his verse on uh, the mask made me do it, he talks about like masturbating to a mask that he wears of some kid's parents and shit. Like, he always does this in like a, uh, uh, fuck, where he talks about having a six inch maggot for a dick and shit. Like, he always raps about the fucking weirdest shit. And actually, his verse, I think I've talked about his verse on Belial before. It's so fire. He, like, the way he rhymes, like, all that stuff, and, like, runs it all together. Like, Iron Maiden and fucking all that shit. It's so, it's, I think I had it as my favorite verse of all time that we did on this show. It was definitely on there. Uh, yeah, I had to put Joe on here. Uh, he's just, just and, uh, Ritual of Rot, his verse on that shit. Like, his storytelling and the way he describes like how he's like eating meat and it's falling through the hole in his stomach and like his intestines dangle getting tangled in the tall grass. He just, he's just sick with it. I had to put him on there. His verse on let it fucking end is crazy too. Yeah. 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 Uh, dude's nasty. One of the illest. Sure. Yeah. I think back to his verse from uh, the Axis family, like, always dug the line got to bring some honor back to this family like it was it was double meaning like uh -huh. you know you could look at that in multiple ways whenever he said that shit so and his punch lines are always fucking just epic i mean he ain't got a rap to steal a song he steals fucking hide and seek all the fuck time yeah. <laughs> the song the fuck super famous song he steals that shit nah, all he does shit. all he does is talk shit yeah if you see him on tuesday night terror the way he acts on tuesday night terror is like how he raps if that makes any <laughs> sense at all <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> you definitely understand more. He's like, oh, he's not fuck. He's not fucking fronting at all. <laughs> like when when he went and scared the fucking DoorDasher, that shit was had me rolling for real. Well, I'm moving up to my one spot, keeping it with fucking the church motherfucker Lee Carver at the one spot for me. It's got to be that's best my rapper. One. Well, that's my number one as well. <laughs> Best rapper in the fucking underground, in my opinion. Walk away quickly and stare in disgust and gawk. Covered in blood at a highway rest stop. Scour the roads and swelter in heat. Truck is heading the sack. Road kill on my teeth. My whole goddamn family dances to the beast. Taking off the mask, scratch the scabs underneath. You should pick up hitchhikers. This road is a dead end. You expire. Take the tire iron. Another head slap. Where they rest at? <laughs> Ain't found no Google Maps, it's the last place you wanna visit We love the tourism, turn them all into exhibits And if you listen, you can hear the screams of the woods And a pile full of dead leaves Get your fist to the neck, squeeze your bubba past the head cheese Play my plate, dog dick, one sniff of my supper will make you sick I'm really close at this time, Lee's going off the deep end Two by six stitches getting dug up every weekend Trying to get my fucking revenge of this ass her cold So I cut her head off, that's just she swallowed my load On the next episode of Unsolved Murders I kill all my coworkers and blame it on my Asperger's syndrome. If you're home, I'ma pay you a visit. Thought it was the Amazon.
on delivery, I am visit Red pie pie, Mrs. Skull Fracture Now they replaying the crime, your ring camera Captured in a desperate attempt to apprehend the assailant Cut your hands off, force you to clap for the entertainment A cover made of bodies for a body is a pop Hieroglyphics of the blood of my victims is stomach wild You in denial, if y'all ain't fucking with the acronym Cut your face off with the state and I perform a sacrament I just said I ain't heard a bad fucking verse from him in fucking four years uh, let's see, I think it's uh, Blood Moon and Bad. My Scream Queen tonight, tonight, the big finish, the final scene. It's time to raise the bar from rated R, fuck PG 13, addicted to death. She likes it rough, handcuffing every time we fuck BDS, some kinky slut. The motherfucker just, just flows, man. You could tell he's a hip hop head, like Mike talked about. You could tell the motherfucker was into hip hop his whole fucking life to be able to pull off the shit he does. And we're talking about, uh, Zool always fucking still in the show whenever they do songs. I just talked about the song, um, Hide and Seek After Sunset. I took a 10 strip, now I'm losing my shit. This quintet get it cracking like your grandmother's hip. Now the underground scene is abandoning the ship, and I got two pit bulls named Jacob and Whipstick. Back on my dope shit, I'm destined for hell. This ain't a fucking record label, it's a terrorist cell. Blowing the fuck up like a big cartel. High five, I'll leave you hanging like Chris Cornell. Sorry. Like, that, yeah, that verse right there. Put that at the one spot for sure. Lee Carver, number one for me. Knox, whatever you want to call it, motherfucker. He's the best in the game right now in the underground. No doubt about it for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, you said it perfectly. I mean, his his name has become a verb as well on Tuesday Night Terror Lee style because he's a student of the game. Like he was saying, like this dude, he really raps and he really understands all this shit. So I had to put him at the one spot. Voice is dope. His cadence, his delivery, his punches. Yeah. I made this comparison. I made the comparison before. Zool, no doubt, was dope as fuck before they had him, just like Nirvana. Then you add Dave Grohl to Nirvana, they're the best band in the world. You add Lee Carver to Zool, they're the best band in the underground. <laughs> That's how important he is. Okay. All right, number one for me, you already talked about late, earlier. Richmond, California, man. Gmo. Boy, you don't know what you're up against. Imagine if New Jack rose from the grave and touched a pin. I mean the shit that I be coming with should prove that life on other planets actually does exist Give a fuck what you tell me, I done heard enough already I've been a pimp, I should have been on soft white underbelly I keep a Big Mac like Cheeseburger Eddie Hit your six pack, your intestines looking like burnt spaghetti The Grinch stole Christmas, I'm wigging I'll get a bitch for her stimulus and spin it I'm an ignorant little nigga and I'm kicking hella asses Bashing them with trash lids, five star frog splashes I van damned it and I don't give a damn if you follow your dreams Right over a fucking cliff, driving off the ravine I was only ever good at being awful and mean So don't even bother talking to me, bitch, bitch if you want that lovey-dovey shit, turn this off, go listen to Drake You can go listen to Drake, nigga Drake, If nigga. you want that money-money shit, turn this off, go listen to Wayne And I mean it respectfully, respectfully If you want that motivational shit, better go listen to Yang <laughs> But if you want that filth, nigga, just sit back and press play Ay. The one thing I wanna say above all, fuck y'all I'll drive a city bus through a slut walk, hit your crew I'm the nigga Leatherface listen to While he's stitching a new face mask in his living room Extend your hand for some dab and some fives I leave niggas hanging like the passion of Christ When these rappers try to ask for advice I tell them they should penetrate they own ass with the mic, bitch Inf gang running the show And that trash that you smoke costs a hundred a O Last time I got high I was confronted by ghosts They asked where the weed at But there was nothing but roach I'm puffing some dope And I'm finna sip this liquor Got a bad bitch waiting for the kid to fist her So I hit it from the back like a fender bender Then I take her shit and leave I'm the tender swindler, nigga Want it with me? You can eat alphabet soup and choke on the D Fall over and breathe like a fish stolen from the sea And if you die, it'll be a total relief Yo, bitch Said she wanna hang with Gmo and the team Now she got band-aids on both of her knees I'm back in that ass without the petroleum grease You gotta deal with my shit again, I know that it stinks Bitch, I'm the closest thing to a golden retrieve Mixed with a Doberman breed and an ogre from Greece Got multiple schemes, fill a super soaker with bleach Spray you in the face and laugh the moment you scream I'm woeful and mean, I tie you down with rope in a seat Climb ten floors and drop a fucking soda machine I come direct, let you know that it's beef These niggas make so many subs, you would think Jared Fogle was free Bitch, Gmo. 
smoke The nigga that you hate to love All around the world, motherfuckers hate his guts Jump on your Facebook, go and make shit up I say this once, y'all niggas gay as fuck It's G-Mo, the nigga that you hate to love Everybody but hurt, get the vapor rub Skanks and sluts, saying that I play too much Y'all been sleep long enough, it's time to wake shit up who, who, them, who them niggas praying on G-Mo's fall? It's my own fault, I'm so raw, I provoke y'all You going against the Dark Souls boss Going off, so off, throw salt, I turn you into coleslaw Nigga, I'm nobody's protege I'm the blister on your pussy lip that'll never go away I let the filth culminate I'm to the rap game with Tim McVeigh was to Oklahoma State A nuisance, I'm too sick, I lose it And go inside your pool, shoot with a broken pool stick And when I'm through with these putrid bars I'm using They all make a face like they just ate Lucas You bitch, you can get a job I plant tulips on my ass cheek And excuse this rudeness But tell your mama I'ma be outside with the cool whip Your daddy looking at me like, who's this? It's g -Mo, the nigga that you hate to love All around the world, motherfuckers hate his guts Jump on your Facebook, go and make shit up I say this once, y'all niggas gay as fuck It's g -Mo, the nigga that you hate to love Everybody but her, get the vapor rub Skanks and sluts, saying that I play too much Y'all been sleep long enough, it's time to wake shit up Yeah, number one for me, g -Mo. You got, other than the Almighty and uh, Mausoleum, you got two of the best records on m &E, That fucking My Filthy Spirit Bomb and Charlie and the Filth Factory are masterpieces. His latest record, The Filth Element, fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Gotta have Jimo on there, man. Number one for me. Yeah, if I was, if if, it's, if, we're, talk, if we're talking fucking, <laughs> if we're talking fucking battle rap, like, it's probably Jimo. If you're taking somebody to just go battle somebody, because that motherfucker will tear somebody apart lyrically. That, he's, hey, he's got battle balls all day, you know? Yeah, for sure. Motherfuckers acting bold and brawny when their favorite rapper growing up was probably a shanty. <laughs> Put you on the ground with the worms, nigga Scotty, too hardy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, like I said, like, just the last fucking two years that he's put out, put him on the fucking number four for me, so I got no beef with somebody that's been down with him since day one, fucking putting him at the one spot for sure, because I know you've been pushing GMO since fucking like 2017 when I first started watching your shit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, I, I was kind of thinking GMO would be your one. Yeah. That was pretty fun getting to go through like the current. We were, Whenever we first discussed it, we didn't know if we were going to do all time or current, but I mean, we could save all time for later. I thought it was kind of cool going through the current, getting some current guys, some props. Uh, it was dope if Darby was on. It would have been cool if he was actually on here on the show like he was supposed to be whenever you picked him. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was talking to him. I was like, well, if we're doing fucking current artists, man, I'd pick myself number one. I wouldn't fucking be no – I would have no shame against that. <laughs> so, I mean, it was dope if somebody picked him on this list for sure. Definitely have Darby on. I know uh, the upcoming, we got some big fucking ones coming up. We got the uh, top five Zool songs for the year anniversary of Goon Clock Gallery coming up two weeks from now. And then next week, we got uh, Great Malenko top five celebrating the Great Malenko coming out in June. Way back in the day on Hollywood, we're going to have Rome Bone from Beneath the Dirt. If you don't catch that COVID again, we'll have him on there. But shout out to Rome, man. I watched uh, Beneath the Dirt this week, and he was talking about the show and shit like that. So shout out to Rome, man. We always give him uh, mad static for not liking Mausoleum, but that's the homie. We'll have him on the show next week, like I said, unless he, unless he catches that fucking Rona again. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, I want to remind you, we're going to be doing the uh, Top 100 over there on the Speak of Clout channel. So check that out. It drops on Mondays because we can't fucking stand Raw, so we'd rather watch that shit on Mondays. But until then, I want to remind you, you can check us out every Thursday right here on the Fago Lovers Network, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm the Joker's Gallery. This is Five Piece, and we out. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Every day I die. Back to the start, another try. I got the time. So why shouldn't I? Every day I die. Back to the start, another try. I got the time, so why shouldn't I? I've got too much time on my hands. Got too much time on my hands.